Israel membebaskan 117 warga negara Palestina dalam tiga hari terakhir. Tapi di saat yang sama menahan 116 tahanan baru di seluruh wilayah tepi barat. Coba simak beritanya. Aids and arrests continue right across the occupied West Bank. That is correct. If you look at what is happening now, what's been happening over the past few days, for every family that is celebrating the return of a loved one, there is a family that is suffering the detention of someone. In harsh terms, if you look at what's happened with the regards to the swap deal as a numbers game, the Israelis have released 117 Palestinians in the last three days. And in that same time, they've detained 116 new Palestinian prisoners in areas across the occupied West Bank. There have been raids ongoing since last night into this morning. They really haven't stopped ever since the war began. They've intensified. They were ongoing before the events of October 7th. But just in the last 24 hours, overnight, 64 people have been detained and are now in Israeli custody. So these raids, these detentions, this pressure being brought down on the occupied West Bank has not stopped as part of Israel's occupation in these territories. And to that end, these have also been incredibly deadly. At least 239 people have lost their lives in the occupied West Bank where there is no Hamas since the events of October 7th. Israel often identifies itself as the only, a self-proclaimed, the only democracy in the Middle East. But in parallel, it has to be remembered that Palestinians living under Israeli occupation live under a military rule that exists in parallel to what Israel sees itself as in terms of its democratic values as it proclaims to be.